Hey guys, I'd like to take the opportunity to talk to you guys about the crankcase pressure and the outside breathers and how it works. So whenever we do a performance motor, you normally go bigger bore, higher compression pistons, and bigger pistons. So this motor was not designed for that. So as the motor goes up and down, it creates more crankcase pressure, putting air into the cylinders, into the crankcase, and the motor needs to breathe. So it goes through your heads and all that stuff. And then it comes up to the top where you have umbrellas and a little sponge that catches the mist of oil that's coming out with your crankcase breathing. Most of the companies have their backing plate that goes, comes out of here, goes into the backing plate and into your throttle body and your pistons and then it gets everything all carbon and full of junk like this is the what we all know as the stage one backing plate air cleaner so it's going to breathe through here through that little hole on this bolt go through this oil line and go into your throttle body and manifold and pistons and it gets everything all nice and carbon and built up so i'm going to show you guys right now the rocker boxes and the heads all right, so here we have a head and the crank case is gonna breathe through that hole. So if I put my rocker box on and where that little O-ring is, it'll go through there. If I put my rocker arm plate, this is the little umbrella that I was talking about. So it gets brittle, it gets hard, it doesn't do its job anymore. And then this is the little sponge that I was talking about. These also get hard and brittle and they no longer catch the oil mist that is coming out with the crankcase pressure so it'll eventually come out of here and go into your air cleaner and into your motor and gets everything full of oil grease carbon and that's the reason why we like to run outside crankcase breathers so here it is it comes out of the the head goes into your backing plate goes across and comes out goes down to the bottom of your motorcycle into a little filter element that catches the mist that's coming out of here. Most of the times you guys would see it here, it gets all over your engine, then it gets into your exhaust. So the little umbrella and the sponge that's up there needs to be serviced. They need to be changed every so many thousand miles. It's supposed to be in the manual, I don't exactly know how many miles, but also something we recommend is when you do an oil change or you fill up your oil, never fill it up to the top. Leave about three eighths of a quart low, quarter of a quart low, and that gives you extra room in your oil pan for extra crankcase pressure. And if it's overfilled, it has nowhere to go. So what it's gonna do is gonna go through your motor into the uh, filter element and spit it out of the crankcase breather hole so i hope this helps don't forget to uh, subscribe and thanks for watching guys